my friends, we're living in such a prophetic time, and yet history confirms prophecy from the Word of God. All you've got to do is take a look at it. But this stands out as a stern warning to us today as I come to a close of this. From the book of Obadiah, the Bible reads in verse 15, For the day of the Lord upon all the nations is near. And listen carefully to part B of this, of this verse. As you have done to Israel, it shall be done to you. Your reprisal shall return upon your heads. Are you hearing that? As we treat Israel, the Bible says, God will treat us that same way. And the Bible goes on to say from this tiny book of Obadiah, how that God is going to return the very land that is in dispute right now, not with God, but with the nations of the world, and that is Gaza. Now, I want you to listen carefully to this last portion of today's briefing, because since 2005, the Palestinians have been in charge of Gaza. Uh, Israel has watched over, but the Palestinians have been in charge of their government and so forth. This all comes from a peace plan that was initiated from uh, Prime Minister Sharon and then President George Bush. When that took place, and you might remember some of this, listen carefully, because this is how the effect takes place for the United States of America. In that 2005, it was brought forth in this peace plan, and Prime Minister Sharon accepted it, in that they would remove the settlements of the Israelis in the Gaza Strip and I'm briefing this for you, there's a lot more to it, but they did so over a period of just 10 days. If you remember, you were alive then, you saw synagogues that were being uh, evacuated. Uh, there were those Jews that were in Gaza that were being forced out within a 10-day period of time, literally plucked off of the roofs of their villages and their locations, removing the Jews from the land that belonged to them in Gaza and handing it over uh, to the Palestinians. So it was only a few days that that took place. Now, with that in mind, uh, what happened on the day that that was concluded? On September the 12th, when Israel handed over the 21, uh, the, the uh, Gaza Strip to the Palestinians, you need to hear this, that in the, in the Caribbean, there was a tropical storm that was forming. That tropical storm would grow in such intensity that it is marked as one of, if not the largest and most catastrophic storms that has ever hit the United States. This is only one of many other storms that hit the United States as a result of the way we treated Israel. The day the last Jew left Gaza uh, in that particular peace plan was when that storm was formed and later would become Hurricane Katrina. Hurricane Katrina would hit the south of, uh, of Florida, South Florida, and then make its way towards uh, the Mississippi Gulf Coast where it literally wiped out the small town of Waveland, Mississippi. I stood there after Katrina myself it was devastated to the actual slabs of homes and then the devastation that took place in New Orleans. What happened in that period of time? I want you to listen carefully to this similarities and comparisons very quickly. Prior to the removal, the Israeli government called on Jews to evacuate their homes in Gaza and the United States government called on residents to evacuate their homes prior to the hurricane. On August 17th, Israel was ordered a mandate evacuation of the settlements, and on September the 7th, the mayor of New Orleans ordered a, a mandatory evacuation of the city of New Orleans. The evacuation of 12,000 Jews was the largest in Jewish history since 1948. Several million Americans would evacuate the path of Hurricane Katrina. Israel set forth 40,000 troops to evacuate the settlers while the United States had to send 80,000 soldiers to the destroyed areas of Hurricane Katrina. The Jews went on the roof to try to delay the eviction while thousands of New Orleans uh, residents went to their roofs to keep from drowning. Gaza is located in, the southern, in Israel's southern coastal areas. 
a section of the America's southern coast was destroyed uh, in New Orleans, Mississippi, and Florida. The evacuation destroyed thousands of Jewish homes, and the hurricane destroyed and damaged more than 500,000 American homes. Are you getting the picture? The picture is this, and I could go on with these similarities. The fact is, what we do and how we handle Israel and the Jewish people directly affects the United States of America. I can say, tell you in history that when the first President Bush made his statement for the first time in the UN that America voted against Israel, it was shortly after that that a storm swirling in the Atlantic Ocean hit the very home of George H.W. Bush in Kennebunkport, Maine. And ladies and gentlemen, this is nothing to be trifled with. We must stand with Israel and the Jewish people like we never have. I know that's a great controversy, but the Bible says those that will bless them will be blessed. Those that curse will be cursed. Take this to note and share this out with other people. And remember that Jesus Christ is coming soon.